Hello, good evening and welcome. My name is Jed Kirby and I'm going to be your narrator for tonight. This week, I would like to introduce you to some of the people and the places we shall be visiting round Pippin Peel Valley, a little area near Citrus Springs in the county of Gisborough. On the posh part of town is Pinkleton Hall. It's the home of the Lord and Lady Pink, with their daughter, Penelope. On days like today, Penelope likes nothing more than to play with her pet cat, Moggy, and her best friends, the Peaceman Boys. So, you boys are twins, right? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. But you're not identical twins, right? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. He has a birthmark above his left eyebrow. Yeah, okay, he's wearing a bandana. Oh, I see. Is there any other difference? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. He's called John. And he's called Edward. But one day people will call us by one name. Edon. Because we're in your face. Plus I'm a little shorter than he is. Whereas, I'm pink and I'm a lady. Without a blemish. <laughs> we, we could, could be, be too. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's all roll down the hill and see who makes the best apple turnover. That's one down to rotten apple. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. <laughs> well, that's us all packed and ready to go. I think I'll be the judge of that. Have you packed? The binoculars? Yes, dear. The barbecue? Yes, dear. Camping stove? Yes, dear. Fishing rods? Yes, dear. Boys' toys? Yes, dear. Spare tent? Yes, dear. Kitchen sink? Yes, dear. Oh, I'm well chuffed, me like. Of the moon. Top of my tree, like. Well out of range. Pearson Punch was feeling very pleased with himself. He'd just collected first prize he'd won in the local church tombola. Nothing other than the sports car of my dreams, a radish 500 GM+. Plus. Pearson stood admiring his prize, but his pleasure suddenly turned to panic as Strawberry Stew approached. Hello, Pearson. Hey, tell me, are you a pair? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, really? If that's so, why there's only one of you then? Hmm, tell me, Stu, how many couples make a pair? Hmm, not sure. But I know a Reddish 500 GM class when I see one. Has it got power steering? Yeah. Hmm, what about heated seat? Yeah. Oh, I see. Have you left keys in the starter? Yeah! Oh no! Don't scratch me radish! Slow down! Yes dear! Stop speeding! Yes dear! Did you see that sign? Yes dear! Are your feet on the right pedals? Yes dear! Are you okay in the back? Yeah, yeah okay! okay. Are we there yet? This isn't the Apple Corp Cadet Camp. camp. No! It's Stonehenge, where our forefathers first set up stall. The very seeds of our community were sown on that very spot, the center of the ring. Isn't that right, Pa Peaceman? Yes, dear. Oh, this is so lame. Thought we'd stop for a photo opportunity. Mr. Narrator, if you wouldn't mind. Certainly, Pastor Peaceman. Back in Pip and Peel Village Centre, PC Peach was busy helping old Granny Smith renew her TV licence at the post office. When Strawberry Stew sped through Miner's Terrace and... Boom! You sit yourself down there, me darling, whilst I trifle in the affairs of the law. 
All right, me lovelies. What's going on here, then? Well, I never. Strawberry stew. In a bit of a jam, aren't we? Hey! I must be in the heaven. Oh, is it my birthday? <laughs> Did someone order kiss of cream? I don't reckon much to the old bird on the bench, though. You're nicked. Oh, really? With fluffy handcuffs? <laughs> Later that afternoon, the Paceman party arrived at their destination. We have arrived at our destination. Manning the entrance gate was none other than Oscar Oxbridge. Being his usual self, he was talking gibberish while managing to blow smoke rings from his pipe. Don't try this at home, kids. It's bad for your health. Take it from me. The only thing that should be smoked, and smoked well, is salmon. Maybe had it too. Remember, eat fish as part of a healthy diet, and don't forget your five a day. It keeps you fresh. <laughs>